I'm Marty Danes and I'll be your host for the next 30 or 40 minutes. I'm the facility manager at Caterpillar Sanaha Hills Demonstration and Learning Center located in Tucson, Arizona and run many of Caterpillar's educational initiatives such as the demo you're going to see right now. We're about to start off our spotlight demo of the day, fuel and job site efficiency. But before we do that, I want to share a couple safety and messages with you. So please pay close attention to the large screens up there. Look at all the different safety precautions we have listed for you as they may pertain to you. And for those folks that need hearing protection, you can have earplug, we have earplug dispensers located in each one of the grandstands located around Operator Stadium. Safety is top priority for Caterpillar here. So one thing I really want to emphasize here is this equipment during the demo is going to be running at operating speed very close to the stadium barriers. So please do not lean on, stand on, or sit on those barriers while the equipment is moving around. We want to make sure everyone walks out here the same way you walked in this morning. Last but not least, if you have a safety concern that comes up during the demo, please seek out one of the CAT representatives in the black and gray polos. Look for one of the security personnel walking around Operator Stadium. They'll be able to help address any of those issues that you may have, okay? All right, well, let's hear some applause. Who's ready to dig in? Today we have a team of demo operators from Caterpillar's Edwards and Tanaha Hills Demo Centers located in Illinois and Arizona. They'll be operating the equipment for you during the demonstration today. These operators are highly skilled and experienced in heavy equipment operation and the application training that they deliver. I'm also going to be joined by four of Caterpillar's product experts. These experts work within different product groups within the group or within Caterpillar itself and they work hand in hand with our dealers and our customers around the world ensuring that these machines that our customers get that return on investment from the machines that they purchase and that they expect from Caterpillar. You may be familiar with some of them, you might have seen them on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, but today we're going to focus on fuel and job site efficiency. As contractors you are all experiencing factors that impact your job efficiencies every day. Bids are more competitive. Fuel prices are at an all-time high. There's a significant operator shortage around the world, as well as there's varying levels of operator skills. CAT has heard and understand these pain points. So let us show you how we have addressed your concerns in our product and technology. Excavators can be found everywhere on the job sites around the world. These machines are cost-effective when digging below grade or loading material out. Now when someone asks me about excavators, there are two people that I go to for information. One of those folks is Brian Stelbrink. Brian is our product expert with the excavator group. And Brian, can you tell us and the folks here in the grandstands around Operator Stadium and viewing online a little bit about the efficiency gains that they'll get from the 317 working out here? Absolutely, Marty. Appreciate that. So again, Brian Stelbrink, product specialist with the excavators. 26 years in the industry, and we'd like to talk to you about our 317. So 17 ton, 40,000 pound, extremely versatile machine as you see it up on the bench there. So Alex Lambert is with me today, expert operator at the helm. And you can see that 317 is just loaded up with work tool capability as well as loads of standard technology that we're gonna to talk to you about here today, okay? Base machine itself, the 317, that's been out for a couple years now, and again, loaded up with technology, versatility, lower fuel consumption, very transportable machine. That's actually Caterpillar's largest excavator that still ships within eight foot six wide, great tag trailer machine, 40,000 pounds, really in that sweet spot of transportation to be able to do a lot of different jobs and move from place to place. So out front is that Caterpillar tilt rotator with the hydraulic connect coupler, both top and bottom. That tilt rotator, as you can see, really eliminates the need to constantly reposition that machine. So you're gonna see Alex put that in the dirt here, full 360 degrees, 40 degrees at tilt side to side. And again, being able to do more work from one position 
getting more done in a shorter period of time, less repositioning of that machine, which is essentially somewhat downtime on that site when you're having to reposition into different areas. So loads of versatility there that helps with uh, really saving more time, saving more fuel, getting more done in a shorter period of time. That's really what efficiency is all about. And another benefit there is, is actually less wear and tear on that machine. If I could do more work in that same area, you're tracking that machine around, it's not only time and fuel savings, but also less wear and tear on that machine. Get more work done from the same period. Uh, full 360 degrees rotation, you can see that on display here. 40 degrees of tilt side to side, great holding power. As you're gonna see Alex here start cutting in the side trenches and it's excellent holding power to be able to have max dig force regardless of the position of that tilt rotator. Um, also, it's, uh, it's really great for working in tight spaces in and around structures. If you see being able to basically work up against foundations, spreading material, backfilling, having less support machines for that, if at all, and really being able to place materials. Think about working inside tight foundations, spread material, transferring up and over, and really less finish work, if at all, manual labor coming in after it. Safety and again, efficiency, getting more work done in a shorter period of time. Now you also saw Alex showing off that, uh, the grapple module. So I think he's gonna show it to us again here. So that grapple module, the red tines being tucked away neatly when you don't need them, but obviously extremely versatile when you do, whether it's picking pipe, beams, other work tools, walk behind tools, maybe lowering it down into a foundation. So great versatility there, yet when it's not there, being able to very low quad pile, tuck that away. Uh, the hydraulic connect coupler, both top and bottom, uh, that allows you, to, again, to change tools in a matter of seconds versus maybe traditional lines and changing tools. Hydraulic coupler as well, so being able to work even the most sophisticated work tools, whether it's grapples, compactors, um, loads of different tools, giving you the versatility to change that effortless and comfortable from the safety of the cab. Now there's also some powerful technology, so let's transition from the work tools and we'll look at some base technologies on that machine. All 317 shipped in the factory with a base grade control system, a payload system, and e-fence amongst a host of other technologies. Um, standard 2D grade with assist helps that operator quickly get to and stay on grade. Again, 2D or 3D working in conjunction with that tail rotator is extremely powerful. Helps operators work with greater confidence, speed, and accuracy, staying on grade, less passes, working in low light conditions, down inside of trench boxes. So again, uh, really having the backs of that operator as they work down towards grade. Now this machine, obviously Alex is working with CAT 3D grade with assist. And now it's just like having, uh, really having a surveyor in the cab with you. You know your cuts and fills across that job site, look walking across that design, you know your alignments, you know your position, uh, it's allowing you to be extremely efficient. Uh, E-Fence is another standard technology on our next gen excavators. Uh, E-Fence, it's really the ability to set a ceiling limit, set a swing limit. If you're working up against barriers, up against a road job, or you're underneath power lines, or finishing some dirt work inside the structure, uh, allowing you to set those limits, and it prevents the front parts of that machine from going on beyond the set limit. Another key part of E-Fence, everybody, is also cab avoidance. So whether it's a tilt rotator or a pin-on bucket, uh, we know where the front parts of that and where the cutting edge are and it prevents that bucket on longer stick configurations with couplers where there's a larger stack up. It keeps that work tool out of the cab, helping protect the operator and also helping protect your investment. The last technology I want to touch on here is cap payload. So there's an onboard scale in that 317 and think about efficiency and knowing what you're throwing in that truck or tracking your productivity. So it's an onboard scale in that 17 working again in conjunction with tilt rotator or any tool, even a grapple module you saw in the demo earlier today. We know the payload real time, Alex knows that, it doesn't change his operating style to essentially know the payload real time and why that's important obviously. Excavators load a lot of trucks, it prevents overloading trucks, eliminating the risk of fines and also eliminates underloading trucks and not maximizing your haul. So that comes down to efficiency as well. Loads of payload data is actually available to Alex on that display, allowing him to understand his truck passes, 
truck count, and uh, really the payload and productivity at the end of the day. And also back office through Vision Link. So being able to understand production information, back office, and help you make educated decisions real time uh, on that job site. So again, helping to manage overall, not just being in that machine, but being able to manage that from the back office offsite as well. So that's our 317. Again, major versatility, loaded up with standard technology, helping with overall site efficiency at the end of the day. And uh, welcome you to come out and talk to us with the excavators. And with that, I'm going to hand it back to you, Marty. Fantastic, Brian. A lot of great information about that excavator. So, folks, so just a reminder for all of you around Operator Stadium and watching virtually online. If you're look, looking to load a truck of loot book material efficiently, one of the most efficient machines are the wheel loaders. The ultimate in wheel loader efficiency is the XC line of the wheel loaders. And folks, if you're looking to get more information on these medium wheel loaders or the XC lineup, Scott Schmigdahl is the person for you to go see. Scott is our product expert in the medium wheel loader group. Scott, take us through the efficiency gains our customers can get from this 982 XC. Thank you, Marty. Good afternoon, folks. My name is Scott Schmickall. I'm Caterpillar's medium wheeler product application specialist for North America. And I'm here to, I've been with Caterpillar for 25 years, and I'm here to showcase our next-gen loaders. Uh, we started with our next-gen loaders two years ago, and we're completing that lineup with our 950 to 9, and 962. That is a 5-ton to 12-ton loader class is where we're at. And uh, the 950 was represented Global Operator Challenge. Hopefully you were able to see that this past Tuesday. Very exciting event. And Curtis Nixon is with me in this 982XC, represented well. So uh, basically a very rich portfolio. We're building off that proven M-Series platform that started back in 2014. Uh, we've got standard abrasion, heavy-duty package buckets, uh, forks, material handling, arms, standard lift, high lift packages across these models, uh, standard, or standard and aggregate counterweights, uh, and many specialty configurations. Um, so one thing I like about the, the uh, medium oil loader, medium oil loader lineup is the very common layout. If you know where the fuel is or what feature set is across one model, it's like in, in the same spot across the rest of the models. So several traditional features that we have, we're building a um, dual accumulator ride control system on there. So the operator gets a nice comfortable ride both to and from his target zone. Um, we've got, uh, dynamic and damper seat in there, so very comfortable ride for that operator. He's not just relying on just an air cushion alone. We've updated that cab with high, de high definition displays, two inches more legroom in there for, for Curtis, auto climate control, and several ease of use features for him. So what's very important in this uh, next gen loader lineup as well is some of our smart assist technology. So for example, Curtis got in this loader and he logged in with operator IP and that returned his preferred settings to him. So he gets to work a little bit faster with the confidence he needs to work well in that machine. Then he, as, as he went from that load and carry over into this truck loading application, single touch of a button changes multiple machine settings for him so that he can keep that machine working in its prime state as he goes from, um, from application to application. So that's what we call our application profiles. As he loads that first bucket here, he's got auto set tires, another assist feature. So as he goes into that pile, if Curtis happened to miss setting his tires, that machine through pile detection will take over and do it for him. So it keeps him working very efficiently uh, by setting that tires, less tire slip, more material in that bucket, less fuel use. In the second pass, he could have been using to use auto dig. Why stop at just setting the tires? Auto dig would take over the rest of that lift and rack command. And then as he goes, um, into that pile for that third pass, he could actually go in and use the payload scale, which is standard across all of our next-gen loaders as well. What is the payload scale? It gives that operation information about what, how much material is he moving, what's the weight of that material, as well as there's some features like low-level weigh and tip-off features. So you saw Curtis there adjusting that last back last pass why is that important if he were loading it on highway truck he could prevent over or under loading of trucks so avoid risking fines on an on highway or with that customer he's hauling full truck loads and not wasting time there so very uh, proud to be bringing you that uh, those payload features which are standard it's also scalable into advanced features so 
Things like list management, you can actually identify and track what material you're actually moving with that. You can pull that data off through the inform features on board that machine, or all that data is offboarded in the Vision Link productivity as well for retrieval later. So you can be monitoring what you're doing with that job site. Now folks, all of these smart assist technologies are across our full product line, and notice on the badging of this, that 982XE. All of those technologies are on both the PowerShift and the CBT uh, transmission machine. So that 982XE is our CBT transmission. What I want to point out to you is it's not just, this is not a productivity play, guys. This is actually an efficiency play. You're moving the same amount of material, just moving it much more efficiently. So uh, um, love, to, love to talk to you more about that. It's not just an efficiency play, there's several operational benefits as well. So come by and see me at the, uh, at the booth. Love to talk to you. Back to you, Marty. Thanks a lot, Scott. Well, folks, if you're looking for a multi-purpose machine, to load and dig, look no further than the CAT backhoes. Our newly introduced X2 Lango backhoes combine customer requested ease of use features and efficient, fuel efficiency. I'm going to call on David Young, our product expert out of the backhoe loader building. David, he's an expert there, and tell us a little bit about that XE backhoe you have out here and the efficiencies our customers will see. Will do, and thank you, Marty. So, again, my name is David Young. I've been uh, in the backhoe industry for about 23 years. And uh, hell, here helping me today in the, in the 420XE is uh, Will Mulder. Now, if you take a look, he's crossing the trench right there, but look at his position. He's facing forward. He never turned to the rear. So how the heck did he do that? With the XE, it has a pair of single joysticks mounted to the seat. And it's electric over hydraulic valving for both the loader and the backhoe. And with that setup, we have a feature called dual mode and in a nutshell dual mode will allow you to operate the implement that you are not facing so as he approached that trench he went over it with the loader bucket he turned the feature on squeezed the trigger on the left joystick and while that's depressed he had full hoe controls that's how he's able to push himself over that uh, over that trench there let go of the trigger he's back to normal loader controls also a benefit with that setup is the ability to dig offset so typically, you know, in a traditional control setup with a dedicated loader and set of hoe controls, you're pretty much locked in to be in, you know, latched in the forward position or the rearward position to run the implements on the backup. But in this setup, if you do unlatch and turn offset, you can't use the controls. It'll kill the controls as soon as you do unlatch, but turn the dual mode feature back on and the controls go live. It's a really slick feature. Since he's going to be running the loader here for us, backfilling that trench, let me talk about the loader on this machine. It's an electronic loader, and in some ways it's very similar to the wheel loader we just saw. It's got rotary position sensors for lift circuit and tilt, okay. which allows you to turn parallel lift off or on through the display in the cab. Also, you can program your upper kickout points as well as your lower return to dig points as well. So it does have some familiar uh, benefits and features as our wheel loader product. Here we see Will is now setting up to do some trenching up on stabs. Um, so he is facing rearward at this point. Again, getting back to the dual mode. If he was running a trench all the way up to the back of the machine and needed to push forward to keep his work going, he would just squeeze the trigger on that left joystick. Right joystick would raise that loader. He'd push back. Squeeze the trigger, drop the loader, let go of the trigger, keep digging. So very comfortable. Much once you get into the rhythm, a lot more efficient and a lot faster. Yeah. Didn't have a chance to speak to the engine at the very beginning, but this is powered by a 3.6 liter CAT engine across all of our sales models in the latest gen models. 10% fuel efficiency advantage and better transient response over our historical. 4.4 uh, liter engine. That combined with the retuned hydraulic valves, we're seeing up to 10 to 15 percent, as much as 15 percent of fuel savings in our new 420 backer loader XC, along with our other models as well. Some of the standard features we have, standard all-wheel drive, new for the next gen is also standard four-speed power shift transmission with optional six-speed auto shift available. 
Through the display, you're also able to fine tune your joysticks. So there's three settings for response rate and modulation, as well as setting the control, uh, not the control, apologies, the operating mode of the machine. So you can set it for really fine, slow work, or you can go to standard plus mode, gives you full engine RPM and pump displacement, set the response rate and modulation to high, and you've got a really wicked fast machine. Or you can go to the other end of the spectrum when you're handling something sensitive, or maybe have a new operator in the cab. That's the highlights of our 420XE. Thank you, Marty. Appreciate the opportunity. Thanks a lot, David. A lot of great information. Love she seeing that 420 see working out there. We'll make it look effortlessly. We would be remiss supporting our customers in their desire to gain every ounce of efficiency without talking about our SD lineup of medium doses. And with that, I'm going to call on Sam Meeker and I'll have him wow you with his experience and knowledge on these machines. Sam is our product expert on the medium doses. Sam, take us through what that best D6XE has to offer from an efficiency standpoint. Oh, thanks, Marty, and uh, welcome to Operator Stadium, everybody. Excited to see y'all here. So, uh, my name is Sam Meeker. I've been a Caterpillar for around 24 years, and uh, happy to uh, happy to be out here and hanging out with the Dozers this week. So, with me, rocking the Pit Vipers and the D6XE is my good friend John Hood, uh, excellent Dozer operator. He's going to show us a little bit about what that D6XE is all about. So. Now in this demo, we're talking about efficiency. So in, a, in Caterpillar's terms, efficiency is the productivity divided by the fuel, right? So how many yards of material can I move per gallon of fuel? So I'm gonna talk a little bit about each of those. And then the third thing we're gonna hit is about serviceability and that maintenance on that dozer. So let's jump in and talk a little bit about fuel. Obviously the D6XE, one of the key things that we're hitting on this tractor is that up to 35% less fuel consumed versus an old open port converter type of drive. So pretty significant amount of fuel reduction in this tractor while still getting the same amount of work done. So uh, I spend a lot of time out with you all customers out in the job sites, and I'm always happy to jump in one of these machines and take a look at that average fuel consumption. And I always get a big smile on my face when I see a four as the first number. Four and a quarter, four and a half gallons an hour. I tell you, that's the type of fuel consumption we used to see in D6Ks back in the old day, and now we're doing that with a 52,000 pound machine, so really, really amazing. Uh, in addition to that, you know, this tractor obviously is not just for the light and medium work, but when you get into some really heavy work, these guys are now uh, in that process of burning, you know, in that five and six gallon an hour range. Uh, I've got some good friends that do some tree planting type work, uh, some forestry work, and those guys are sitting just below six gallons an hour where uh, they were replacing D6Rs that were burning 10. So super excited about this technology and this D6XE and how that's really helping us to reduce that fuel consumption. So, uh, you know, and it's not just all about fuel, not just all about the D6XE, but the whole product line uh, in terms of fuel consumption has gone down. On our D5s, our D6, the 7s, the 8s, all of those use uh, lockup clutch torque converters with our power shift transmissions now. And those torque converters uh, you know, really reduce that fuel consumption as well too, all at the same time giving you that extra push and that extra power that you need also. So. Let's jump in and talk just a little bit about maintenance uh, since uh, 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 we're nice enough, the hood's nice enough to show us this side of the tractor where we got lower maintenance cost on here. So uh, these tractors over the years we've continued to work on uh, lowering that maintenance cost. One of the key things we're doing is uh, stretching out those oil change intervals. So uh, you're at 500 hour oil change intervals on almost all these machines and I encourage you to take advantage of that. Do your SOS samples at 250, change that oil at 500 and get all the value that you can out of that. In fact, that new little D4 over there that we're showing off, that tractor has a thousand hour oil change interval. So SOS every 250 and at a thousand hours you can change your oil in that D4. So we're stretching these intervals out on all these machines. You'll also see that we're starting to use more cartridge style filters, um, using a little bit less in terms of can style filters. So we're reducing some of that landfill waste we're putting out there in, in terms of cans. So uh, helping out as well. Kind of back on the D6XE, this uh, XE electric drive system, the diesel electric, uh, that transmission in there allows us to use less overall oil. So, uh, and at the same time, we're doubling that interval of oil change. So 2,000 hours on the oil change of that, uh, that XE. So, uh, and again, up and down the product line, we've improved structures, we've reduced it, you know, a lot of those well repairs. Final drives on this D6 lineup, they're designed to last the life of the entire tractor, right? And if you come over and talk to me, I'll tell you that's two and a half engines. So we're looking at 40,000 hours on a lot of these machines. 
Uh, really, really amazing in terms of that. So that better engineering that we're putting into those uh, those final drives and those structures on these tractors is really helping us out in terms of getting that light. So. All right, so the third leg of this stool is going to be productivity. So let's talk about productivity. D6XE, as we're seeing around here in these tractors, that electric drive, it is made for that second gear push. So, um, you know, these tractors are often out there knocking down truckloads, doing some cut and carries, and, and these guys are really just made for that nice, fast uh, second gear push. So that's what's helping us with productivity. As we get out there and talk a little bit about some of those other tractors as well too, the 5, 6, 7, and 8, that lockup clutch has improved productivity on those tractors as well. Uh, six, seven, five, uh, 6, 7, and 8 also have a 4-speed transmission, so we've added another gear in between 1st and 2nd, that 1.5 gear, which is going to help you to be more productive in those heavy cut applications, so really giving us that extra productivity on those tractors as well. So. Uh, talk a little bit about speeds, all right? Everybody likes to run in second gear, so these tractors, you can hit those piles in second gear. Uh, if it is a power shift, it'll automatically downshift and then automatically upshift back up as it needs to. If you're running that XE, of course, that electric drive system's gonna automatically uh, maintain that speed for you and keep you pushing through those piles, so. Now, we were remiss if we didn't talk a little bit about technology. If you look at the D4 and the D7 over there, you see those great big balloons on top of them talking about integrated technology. These tractors are all about integrating that technology into that machine. So when you get it from the uh, from your local dealer, it's going to be ready to go and it's ready to do whatever work you want to. Now, when we talk about technology, we're not just talking about the fancy stuff. We actually start with some basic technology. So uh, some informed features, as I call them, that's going to be things like slope indicate, blade load monitor. Slope indicate gives you an idea of where that tractor is sitting on a slope, and it really helps to bring some of those operators, maybe those younger operators that aren't comfortable with a, you know, a 25% slope or a 30% slope. It gives them that feeling for where they're at on that slope. Blade load monitor, showing them how much material is on that blade. Then we're going to jump in and talk a little bit about some of our 2D technologies, such as slope assist. All right, uh, and uh, stable blade, traction control, and a brand new feature right now we're talking about is steer assist. So if you've, uh, you've been lucky enough to get one of the steer assist stickers, uh, happy to show you that, but John's using it right here now. It's helping him keep that tractor going straight on that side slope. And if you've ever done any work on a side slope, you realize how much, uh, how much effort you do have to put into that steering tiller to keep that tractor going straight. Well, John's relaxed in there now because as he's dozing along that slope, steer assist is helping him to continue to go straight. Brand new feature we're talking about. Happy to talk to you uh, as we get going. And of course, Cat Green with 3D, uh, the, the you know best of the best in terms of brake control systems. And I'm glad John's able to, to show us the top of that uh, tractor so you can see those two gray antennas. When we integrate a system, we integrate it. It's in there. You can't see it from the ground, which is all about the security of those components. So make sure uh, you come over and see us by the D4 and the D7. And then, of course, after the demos at 3.30, Marty, we're going to be out here in the dirt or the mud. It. Or the mud. It. No, it no mud sunshine. today. No today sunshine. Sunshine and... Unicorn. You know, you <laughs> best, <right? laughs> Thanks, everybody. Hey, thanks. Uh, back to you, Marty. Thanks a lot, Sam. Appreciate that. Love seeing hoods on that D6XE out there. And uh, folks, at Caterpillar, we've developed numerous machine platforms, operator efficiency features, and machine technologies to help reduce fuel consumption while also addressing our key customer pain points in those skilled operator labor areas, variations in those operator skill levels, and their job performance. I'd like to thank everyone in the stands around Operator Stadium today and those watching online virtually. Let's give these operators and our product experts a round of applause. What do you say? Make sure you visit our product experts out there around the outside of Operator Stadium at their individual products. Also, don't forget to come over here to our sustainability hub. Learn a little bit more about that fuel efficiency, job site efficiency, technology information that we've been talking to you here. Also, don't forget our big ticket giveaway. We have nine check-in points. We have eight here around Operator Stadium, one over in the South Hall. And what you want to know about that is if you check into five of those locations, those checkpoints, you're going to get a cat hat. You're going to get entered to win uh, drawings for D11 Lego set, which is pretty cool. I've seen them a little while ago. And also the big ticket item is the 301.8 mini excavator that also comes with a CBA, which is a customer value agreement. Folks, we've loved having you here. Uh, have a good time. Come back here at about 1.30. We're going to do a 
mic drop with Mike Rowe, have, ask some questions with Mike, and then at 2 o'clock we're going to start our job site demo, and then as Sam Meeker was saying, come back around 3.30, we'll get you in the dirt around the equipment, talk to the product experts, see our demo operators, see the machine. Have a great day.